What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I caught you. I saw you scrolling through YouTube and I snatched you. <laughs> Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Thank you as always for being here. We're going to continue on Unknown Pleasures, Joy Division. Uh, we're going to move on into the next track, which is going to be New Dawn Fades. I feel like I can't hear myself in the headphones. Hello? Am I here? I'm here. I can hear myself. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, the music I could hear, so... Hopefully everything's set up right. I haven't changed anything. Every once in a while I come into this room and something feels different. Something feels off. But <laughs> we're going to let that feeling fade as we enter a new dawn. We'll talk about the song afterwards. Let's go. Start. 
Okay, let me tell you on a first listen, it's a first listen, right? This song ends the first side of the album. This is one of my favorite tracks on the album. I think that this is absolutely epic. I'm loving everything about that. The guitar riff, the strong throbs of the bass, the drums, the slowed down nature of it, vocals which seem a little bit hopeless, but perhaps a little bit of light in the eyes. This is a fantastic track. This to me is like just excelling. Where to start, where to start, where to start? Let's go back to the beginning. I really like the guitar riff in here that starts off the track. Tell me what you think. This is just what I feel. I'm on the wrong song. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go, back here. I love the, you guys know, I've already mentioned before, but I love their use of space within the music. Give it a little bit of just like the drums, just the room, let the echoes collide and resound within themselves, and then we'll get into the rest of the band. This guitar riff. All right. That guitar riff to me, it is filled with so much emotion. Like, sometimes guitar riffs, they sound cool, which obviously, duh, everyone loves a good, a good guitar riff, but they're not always filled with, I guess, a, 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 the right sense of emotion. This one actually has some emotional weight to it. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Guitar riffs, especially in heavy music, can have in a sense, a literal weight to it, a musical and melodic weight to it because it's heavier. This is heavy, just as heavy, but there's an emotional touch and like I said, an emotional weight attached to it that makes that guitar riff stand out just so much more to me. Also, the notes on the guitar riff, it sounds like a surfer song, like, I don't know, not like that, but like it sounds like one of those kind of surfer guitar songs or guitar riffs except just slow down and sad, which kind of brings me back to the title of the song, New Dawn Fades. New Dawn is a good thing. New beginnings, new hopes, uh, but it's fading. Those new beginnings are fading. Those new hopes are fading. Those dreams for the future are fading. So perhaps the guitar riff, if it was played maybe faster, it would sound happier. But here, the way it's just languid and drifting and kind of almost in a drug kind of ambience, it, it moves a little slower and it feels more loathing rather than happy and joyous. So I just think that that's a really cool choice from the beginning. Ian Curtis sounds really great on the vocals on this one as well. I think that he doesn't have, or maybe he does have, but he's not using a huge range in his vocals. But in this particular track, once again, it's that emotional touch that he's putting into it that I think does wonders in a track like this. And then, like I said, you have that uh, just throbbing, strong, pulsating voice from the bass that is just it just has this great deep resonance in the music which once again because the production allows the space for everything to thrive in and i think that combination of things just makes this a really standout track to me it, it feels really good and it's a great way to end the first side of the album uh, truly let's get into these lyrics here a change of speed a change of style a change of scene with no regrets a chance to watch, admire the distance, still occupied, though you forget. Different colors, different shades, over each mistakes we've made. I took the blame, directionless, so plain to see, a loaded gun won't set you free, so you say. There's been some changes, new dawn fades, new things happening, new starts. And over the course of these changes, as he says, mistakes were made and he took the blame for it. Now he says, a loaded gun won't set you free, so you say. So perhaps there's, um, perhaps there's a threat of suicide in here, involved. Or, it could be murder. <laughs> All it says is a loaded gun. Don't know who, say, doesn't say who it's pointed to. We'll share a drink and step outside an angry voice and one who cried. So you're getting the two parties. An angry voice from one and the one who cried from the other. We'll give you everything and more. The strain's too much, can't take much more. Oh, I've walked on water, run through fire, can't seem to feel it anymore. He's been through both sides. He's walked on water, like Jesus. He's take, I guess you could say he's taken the higher route and he's run through fire. He's run through disaster. He's gone through the dark side. He's, he's gone through those troubles and that chaos. No matter which way he goes, it's like he's not winning. And he's becoming numb to it. It was me waiting for me hoping for something more. So we get some self-realization there. It's not an outside issue, it's an internal issue. It was me waiting for me, hoping for something more, me seeing me this time, 
hoping for something else. So the change, the new Don, maybe he was expecting, maybe they were expecting it to be something between them, an external factor, when at the when the whole time it was actually something internal uh, factor. That is, that is really, really cool. I, I think that that was actually, this is a, a, possibly my favorite song so far in the album. I don't know, but it's definitely a top two, <laughs> if anything. Uh, just looking at some of the, the information for this track, it says the song opens up with a backwards and heavily modified sample from the previous song, Insight. Okay, well, I hadn't. That's what that was. Okay. I knew it was like kind of fading in and glitching out. I didn't know what it was. I, I would have never guessed. Uh, <laughs> um, it says that the song relies on an ascending guitar riff by Bernard Sumner played against a descending bass riff by Peter Hook. So I guess there's a bit of a contrast musically as well. Um, da, 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 da. Nothing else overly interesting. Uh, but really cool, no matter what. That, that was just a really fantastic track to listen to. Hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. You can let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Come back tomorrow, and I'll see you all later. Bye.